Are you using AWeber for email marketing but want to boost revenue for your subscriber list? If so, keep watching this short video. AWeber is perfect for building email lists, sending newsletters, and tons more. But how can we monetize subscribers after capturing their contact information? Well, today we'll explain the simple way that many AWeber users are growing their brands by converting emails into earnings. And spoiler alert, anyone can do it. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we convert subscribers into a steady stream of revenue? Well, the answer is simple. You see, you can drive more sales by automatically adding AWeber subscribers into your very own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected to your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, we can gather subscribers into one platform, sell monthly subscriptions, set up a professional directory of all of our subscribers where they can manage their own profiles and interact with each other. And best of all, you can show off the size of the community that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff, sending AWeber contacts into our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this will also work with other integration platforms such as Pably, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we are inside of our AWeber dashboard. And if we go inside of pages and forms and landing pages, and you can see that we've created a landing page called general sign up form. And here is exactly what that looks like. So in this example, we are going to fill out the general sign up form on our AWeber landing page that we created. Then we are going to automatically create a profile for that user that just signed up inside of our subscriber community website, which is powered by brilliant directories. And here is a preview of what that subscriber community looks like. And as you can see right now, we have about 76 different users inside of our community. So the very first thing that we want to do to set up this connection is head over here to Zapier and get logged in. And once we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new Zap. So we're going to create that Zap. And then once that loads up here for the trigger, we want to use AWeber. So simply search for AWeber, click on that then we need to choose an event that's going to make this happen so for the event we are going to do a new subscriber okay once we have that we are going to continue then it's going to ask us to go ahead and connect our aweber account so we're going to click on sign in and once we do that that is going to open up this little pop-up window where we need to log in with our aweber account so go ahead and enter your login name your password and then allow access once we have allowed that access, it's going to go ahead and connect our account for us. And we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Then we need to choose our account. In my case, this is my account ID here. Next up, we want to choose the list that we have created inside of AWeber. In my case, I'm going to select brilliant directories. And then for status, we're just going to leave that as all. And then we are going to continue. And once we do that, we are going to test the trigger just to make sure everything is integrated correctly. And as you can see, it has successfully found a subscriber inside of our list that we selected. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue. So now that we have AWeber connected, we now want to go ahead and connect our brilliant directories. So we have it here. You can also search for brilliant directories. And then for the event, we want to create a user. So we're going to select that. Then we are going to click on continue. Next, we need to go ahead and connect our Brilliant Directories account. So inside of Choose Account, we're going to go ahead and connect a brand new one. So I'll click on Connect a New Account. And once we do that, that's going to open up this pop-up window here where it requires a website URL and an API key. Now, for API key, we can actually click on this link that says API Details, and that's going to redirect us to the screen that we need to go to to go ahead and create our API key. Now, inside of this screen that we're on now, we're going to go ahead and click on Generate API Key in the top right-hand corner. That's going to load up. It's going to ask us for a nickname. I'm just going to call this AWeber Key and click on Save API Key, and that's going to give us our API Key right here. So we can click this button right here to copy it. Then we're going to head back to that pop-up window, and inside of that window, we're going to paste in that API Key just like that. Next, we need our website URL. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to our website here, then up here in the top right hand corner, we have this orange button that says visit website. We're going to click on that and that's going to open up our website for us in a new tab. And what we can do is actually just copy the URL from the address bar there, head back to the pop up and paste it in there just like that. Now, it's important to note they only want the website URL 
up to the .com. So we can delete anything after .com just like that and click on yes and continue. And once that saves, we can head back over here into Zapier. And now we have our account selected right there. As we can see, it has my Aweber key nickname that I created. So now we're gonna click on continue. Now, once we do that, we now need to set up the action of the information that we are collecting. So in my case, we are collecting the email. So I'm gonna click inside of email. Then I want to collect the email address from Aweber. And then for the name, for the first name, we're gonna do that one. And then we are going to select the name there, just like that. Now, the best part is we can collect any amount of user information that we want to and automatically pass it into Brilliant Directories. So once you have everything configured and mapped together the way that you like, go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click on continue. All right, so we're gonna click on that continue button and then we are going to test the action just to make sure once again that we have connected everything successfully. So we're letting that do its test real fast. And as we can see, a user was sent to our brilliant directories. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna click on publish down here and we're gonna publish and turn on this automation that we just created. And once we have that published and turned on, what we can do now is we're gonna test it just to make sure that it works. So to do so, we're gonna head over to the general form here, and I'm gonna simply enter my name and my email address, John Smith, and click on sign up now. And now if we head over here to our subscriber community inside of Brilliant Directories and we refresh it, we should see that John Smith was automatically added to our member community and the refresh is coming in. And as we can see, John Smith was automatically added to our subscriber community. And there we have it. If you have an Aweber account, this is a must have integration that you'll wanna set up. To start monetizing your Aweber subscribers, just click the free trial link in the description below and you'll get instant access to your own membership site and all of the growth strategies we've got to offer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you in the next video. Thanks for watching.